Hello, ACPS families and ACPS family. This is Dr. Hutchings, and we have made it to day 58 of teaching, learning, and working from home in Alexandria City Public Schools. And I know that you all are probably a little tired <laughs> of being at home um, because I know that I am, and I really miss seeing every everybody uh, in person. Um, but today I wanted to just first thank you all for your hard work, your dedication, um, your passion, right? You all have endured so much these past few months and we would have never thought that we would be in a situation like this. Um, but we are troopers and we are going to make it through this together. As I said time and time again, we are better together than alone and ACPS can do this. Uh, speaking of reopening, our governor this past Tuesday announced uh, the reopening uh, of schools plan for the Commonwealth of Virginia. And also our Virginia Department of Education released guidelines um, to all school divisions for reopening uh, this fall. And I want you all to know that our team is looking through this very massive document. It's about 160 plus pages, uh, but we have started looking at this document on Tuesday. We're continuing to work through and digest the information uh, and analyze the information that's coming out of these guidelines. Right now, just with uh, my preliminary review, it's pretty aligned with some of the preliminary discussions we have been having within our school division around reopening. Um, I mentioned this last week that we have established a thought partner group, and this is a team of experts in the city of Alexandria, as well as in Alexandria City Public Schools, who are working together to make sure that we are answering some guiding questions around the reopening of our schools, as well as talking through some implications and challenges and obstacles that we may face um, as we begin to open our schools. We're gonna be providing some more detailed information about our VDOE um, report next week. Uh, so please be on the lookout for that. I hope that you will visit our um, Reopening Schools webpage and you can find that on our ACPS at Home website. And specifically, we are providing our community with information about our process um, to reopening. There's a timeline that's shared uh, with you. There's information about who the thought partners are. Uh, we have published all of the documents that we are reviewing because there is a summary of a lot of research that's out there. You, you know, we're not the first country that's reopening, so we can learn from other people's mistakes um, all across this world. And we're looking at other data points. Um, we're also reading some of the latest uh, research around reopening and some things that we must consider as we develop our reopening plan. So I hope that you all will remain engaged. Uh, we also record our thought, our thought partner um, meetings and they are posted um, on the web page uh, as well. So please check that out so you can stay informed. We will be uh, sending the board a draft of our overarching plan on June 26. Uh, we will be having a discussion about that plan in July. Um, and all of this information will be going public, um, you know, in, in July. So uh, we just want to keep you well informed and just, just want you to understand, too, that and this was something that I we had a discussion yesterday with our region four um, superintendents. One thing that's very important for us to understand is as we have so many uncertainties in regards to the reopening of school, we're going to all have to be very flexible. You know, we cannot just have one plan or one, you know, scenario that we're going to send out to our community and say, this is exactly what we're going to do. Right. We have to be very explicit about the fact um, that there are going to be multiple scenarios that we're going to have to share out with the community. And you and your families are going to have to really think through what your responses or what your action will be with each of these different scenarios. Um, you know, specifically, we're looking at three approaches um, to the fall. One is, you know, starting with a traditional opening, which most likely won't happen um, due to our social distancing and social gathering guidelines. This is going to be impossible for everybody to go back to school all at one time. So but we still want to share what the traditional opening looks like. We also are going to have to have an approach for a hybrid um, approach and hybrid means some online and some in person. Uh, instruction. So we're going to have to work through what that hybrid approach looks like, you know, whether we have 50% of students in our schools at one time or 25% of our students in our schools um, at one time. And then we're also going to have to look at the approach of continuing to have this online uh, learning if we are unable to have everyone back 
uh, in, in our schools in the fall. So those are the three main approaches that we are going to, to be analyzing and we're developing models that relate to these different approaches. And that is what we're gonna be sharing out with our um, community as well as sharing with the board. You know, we have to think through so many complications from transportation to how do you um, have students in classrooms to how do you eat lunch to how do you do pass um, passing in the hallways and, you know, bathroom passes and things of all that nature, uh, things of that nature, excuse me that we're going to have to continue to work through. Uh, so those are all of the questions that we will be answering um, with, with our community. And we hope that you all will continue to stay engaged in our reopening plan uh, or on our reopening plan webpage, because we're posting a lot of information there throughout this process. Your input um, is, is very important, but at times like this, we also want to make sure that we have experts and key experts at the table so that they're giving us insight about, you know, wellness and health and safety and security and facilities and operations and cleaning, as well as the educational experts talking through how do we continue to teach and learn um, during this, this global pandemic. So there are multiple facets of, of this work, but if you check out our website, um, or webpage, uh, you will uh, be able to get some more information. And next week, we're going to be sharing specific details uh, with you. So I wanted to focus on that today because I know there's been a lot of questionings about or a lot of questions about reopening um, our schools. So more details uh, are coming and we are working with the Virginia Department of Education as well as, as, well as with all of our regional um, school divisions in this area to work through developing this, but mainly we're working with our thought partners who are some key experts um, helping us and guiding us through, through this process. Finally, I wanna say, please tune in this Saturday, June 13th, 9.30 a.m. for our very first virtual graduation. Uh, we are going to be you know, sending off our class of 2020 in style and innovation and creativity. Uh, I, this is gonna be a, a wonderful event. It's definitely not what we uh, had thought we would be doing for the class of 2020, having a virtual graduation. But I must say that Mr. Ballas and the planning team uh, at TC has done a phenomenal job uh, with putting this all together. And our communications team has also done a phenomenal job in taking all those pieces and their creativity and ideas and making it this wonderful virtual graduation. So you all are definitely in for a treat. Please tune in. Um, if you're unable to, to watch it live at 930, uh, then you will be able to watch uh, several recordings. It will be recorded. It will be on TV. It will be on the internet. Uh, so you'll be on Facebook. Wherever you want to find it, you will be able uh, to find our graduation as we salute our class of, of 2020. So please tune into that. So I just wanna end by saying, stay safe, stay healthy, please continue to stay informed. And we so appreciate each and every one of you and all that you all uh, do every single day on behalf of our young people and our families who are home with their kids uh, during these times. Thank you so much for your patience. Um, thank you so much for your dedication too. And I'm looking forward to seeing um, all of you really soon. Enjoy the rest of your day.